today we are going to discuss the subject of addition of fractions and to begin with let me do a exercise in addition let me give you a problem in addition and if you can do this problem then you will have no problem learning about addition of fractions are you ready for the problem okay how many beads in this hand three how many beads in this hand two five okay so that's all there is to addition addition is putting together addition is joining and whatever we make we that is the answer that's all there is to addition and in fact addition is joining on this simple principle and single principle the entire subject of school mathematics is built up if you understood this problem which i just did with nandita then you have you will have no problem understanding addition of fractions that is what we are going to understand today but for that we will have to do a bit of revision what we did in the last two or three sessions which i will do by asking some problems to nandita and neel jyoti remember the long form and the short form okay so now can you write the long form of Two by four. Right. Next problem. Again, by way of revision, can you write the long form of five by four? addition is first write the long form of 3 by 4 on your slate write the long form of 3 by 4 
And now show me what you have written, show the camera. That is the long form of this. Now the last step is write on the same slate the short form of this long form which is on your slate. Okay, so you have written 5 by 4. So can I write here 3 by 4 plus 2 by 4 is equal to 5 by 4. Are we ready for one more problem? Okay, I'll keep this slate here because we will discuss it later. I'll take a fresh slate and now I want you to write the long form for Okay, uh, and now write on the same slate the long form for 2 by 6. I have not put a plus sign between. I have not put a plus sign yet. So, 3 by 6. For 2 by 6, you need the plus sign. Isn't it? For 2 by 6, I need the plus sign. 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6. For 3 by 6, I need the plus sign. 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6. Now, if I put a plus sign between 3 by 6 and 2 by 6, it means I'm adding 3 by 6 to 2 by 6. So now you can put the plus sign between that. And what is the short form of this? So write on the other side of the slate the equality for the full addition. Write the entire, complete this problem in this form. Okay, so where did this 5 where did this 5 come from? By adding 2 and 3. 2 and 3. So we add what is on top. Do we add what is below? No, it remains the same. We don't add what is below. Hmm? What is below tells us how many parts are there. Right, it tells us the pieces. Okay. So now we have done uh, two problems, and let me go now to making what we have done with things. So let us take the rods which we have, give you a bunch of rods, 
And let's do the first problem, which we have done. Let's show it. This was the one. Do you know how to make three by four with these rods? Okay, make yes. it. Make it. Young Jyoti, you make two by four. Make it uh, in the long form. You know to make one by four? So make one by four pieces. Yandoki, you have to make two by four. So what is the wrong form of two by four? One by four plus one by four. Okay. So make one by four plus one by four. You made one by four there now. You have made have you made one by four? That piece. So you need one more piece of one by four. And keep two by four on the slate, and you keep three by four on your slate. Now, Nandita, the piece that is on the slate, is it in the long form or the short form? In the short form. It is in the short form, right? It is in the joint form. So make it in the long form. Or the loose form. Are the pieces that Yanjoti has made and that you have made are they the same size? No. They're not the same size. Okay. Um, so we have to you have to discuss among yourselves. And see why are they not the same size? Okay. You have to make what are the pieces you have to make? One by four. One by four. So we are going to take uh, one again. Make one by two. Okay, so show me one by two. In your hand, show me one by two. That's one by two. Can you make one by four? Show me in your hand one by four. That's one by four. So what is the piece that you have made and kept on the slate, that one piece, what is that one piece now? One by six. See, how many, how many such pieces make up one? Make some more pieces like that. Six pieces. Make it, make it. Make them all the same size. They all have to be the same size as that. Yeah, those pieces. Keep them all on the slate. When you join them all, when you join them all, what do you get? You get one? By six. When you join them all, just show me what you get. 
Okay, so these are one by six, right? Very good. But I wanted you to make two by four. So please keep the one by sixes in your out of the sleeve. We'll use them later. And that is now two by four. Okay. And Nandita, what do you have in your slate? Three by four. Three by four. So now can you add these? Okay. And what is the long form of what is there in the slate, Ganjoti? One by four plus one by four plus one by four. Plus one by four, plus one by four. Good. And what is the short form? Five by four. Five by four. Right. So what we had written earlier, that we have now made in the slate and kept it there. Let's now do this problem for which the pieces that you had made, Yang Jyoti, earlier. Now they, these will be, these can be used. So make, randomly you make three by six, keep it on the slate. And you can use the pieces made by Gyan Jyoti, Nandita. That's two by six. So Gyan Jyoti, do this addition by putting them all in the same slate. And what is the short form of that? Five by six. Five by six. So we see that this problem which we had done earlier, three plus two, and this problem which we are doing now with the fraction pieces, are they different? No. They are the same, provided the pieces are all of the same size. Now supposing, now these are not beads, these are cats. Okay, so how many cats in this hand? Three. Okay, and these cubes here, they are dogs. Okay, so how many dogs? Two. Two. So I have here? Three cats and two dogs. two dogs. Gandhi, what do I have here in my hand now? Three cats and two dogs. Three cats and two dogs. Okay. I can't add them because cats and dogs are different. But now if I have three cats here and two cats here, Vyajyoti, what do I have in my hand now? Five cats. Five cats. So addition means when what I am adding are the same things, then addition is very easy. So here, in this problem here, we had 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. In this problem here, we also had 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. But what were, what were we adding in this? Show me the pieces that we were adding for this problem. Show me one of those pieces, that, and show me the pieces that we were adding for this problem, 1 by 6. So these pieces are called, which is the pink pieces which are there in the hand of Nandita, they were called in numbers? 1 upon 4. 1 by 4. And the green pieces which are there in the hands of Yang Jyoti, they were? 1 by 6. 1 by 6. So this number here tells me the pieces and here the pieces are 1 by 6, here the pieces are 1 by 4. So now we have done this problem in two different ways. We have done it with numbers and we have done it with things. One last problem just 
to make sure that they have understood. And now you don't have to write all the steps. You can write the problem. I will write it here and you have to do it. Write the problem and the answer on your slate. Three by eight plus four by eight, and the answer is seven by eight. Okay, so we know why we do this because three plus four of the same thing is seven. And here, the pieces that we are adding, Gandhoti, what are the pieces that we are adding here? Three pieces plus four pieces. What are the pieces? Each piece is each one piece, by eight. Each piece is one by eight. So we are adding pieces of one by eight. Can you make a piece of one by eight now? And show show us. Already you have pieces of one by four. You have a piece of one by four. Take a piece of one by four. Kanjoti, start with a piece of one, full one, and from from one. You have to make that into eight equal pieces. Okay, let me do an exercise here before you start doing that. This is my hole. Okay. Now, if I hold it and cut it into pieces, how many pieces did I have? Two. Two. Okay. Now, if I fold it again and cut it into pieces, how many pieces did I have? Four. Four. And if I fold it again and cut it into pieces, how many pieces would I have? Six. Count. Eight. Eight. Each time it doubles. First I have two pieces, then I double two, I get four, and I fold it again, so then I get eight, eight pieces. So can you make? Eight pieces there. So count the number of pieces. Eight. Okay, good. And now show this addition. This addition, show it. So, which is the first, which is this number here? Three. Three by? Eight. Three by eight. That is the long form of three by eight. One by eight plus one by eight plus one by eight. And this one here is? Four by eight. Four by eight. When you add them, you get? Seven by eight. Seven pieces, which is? The long form is seven, one by eight plus one by eight, seven times. And the short form is seven by eight. Okay. We saw that uh, adding fractions when the pieces are of the same size is very easy. Now we have to go forward to understand how to add fractions when the pieces are not of the same size. We have to convert them into a problem where the pieces are of the same size. For that we will use the concept of equivalent fractions. So let us now revise a little bit what we have done earlier about 
equivalent fractions and equal ratios. Thank you.